Hi everyone, Katarina here. Thank you so much for watching my video today. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made three lovely sparkly ATC cards in Christmas theme. The colors were given either blue and white or red and green. We basically had to go with Christmas colors and one of the ATCs had to have a tree on it. I was so excited to make this for a swap over on Craftworld. And most importantly, I was just so happy to be back to my craft table. I've been feeling quite unwell for a few weeks. I had real bad ear infections, needed a couple doses of antibiotics to clear that up a bit. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back. I will be sharing videos. I have missed out on so much I feel, which probably would be too late to start sharing now. But uh, I, I just had to focus on getting better. So... And one of my first crafting projects to come back with were these gorgeous ATC cards. So for the first one, the pattern paper that I'm using is from the latest creative stamping magazine, which I picked up in Tesco's and it came with this big bundle of papers. It's like a booklet of papers. It was a lovely surprise, wasn't expecting it to be. So I chose this snowflake pattern. The blue cardstock measures two and a half by three and a half, and this one is one eighth of an inch smaller, so two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I edged it with a glue pen and dipped it into my crystalline glitter. Layered it on top of the blue cardstock, and this is the tree that I will be using in here. This is from Chloe's Creative Cards, the Snowy Tree, I think the stamp set is called. And for the sentiment, I'm going to use Oak Christmas Tree, which one is from that stamp set that I showed you there a minute ago. And it is an unbranded one, which I've had in my stash for such a long time, I can't even remember where I got it from. So I'm just doing some trial runs, had a little bit of an issue with it, didn't want to stick, the stamp didn't want to stick to my door, but even chilly, I got it sticking and I'm just using blue versus fine ink. I am stamping my sentiment vertically onto the side of the card before I'm going to glue on the tree. Now the tree, tree is a, a kind of decoupage, it's layered up, it's a three dimensional tree. Which I'm not going to show you how I made because I don't want this video to be too long, but I might come back with another video if I get a chance to show you how I created that. There's lots of glitter on it as well. The stamp set comes two sizes of trees and I just showed you the larger one in there as well. So I want to decorate this just a little bit. There's a lot of glitter going on. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I will show you some close-ups and some videos as well to show you all that lovely sparkle. So the snowflake flurry glitter pot is the one that I'm taking these uh, snowflakes out of. And this is also from Chloe's Creative Cards. And they are so gorgeous, just real nice and shiny. They are subtle there in the background, but they give it a lovely shine, just the way I like it. So I'm going to use some of the blue little rhinestones and the blue little pearls as well, uh, the smallest sizes of both. And I'm just going to decorate my tree with it a little. And I think I kind of cut that footage out, but I added a little star on top of the tree as well, which was heat embossed with silver a sparkly embossing powder. And I also added some crystalline glitter to that as well. Again, stay tuned for the close-up pictures to the end. So this is the first ATC card is ready. Now I'm going to move on to my next one. And for this one, I'm going to use Daisy May's stamp, the snowman and the teacup. I'm not going to show you how I color this in because I already have a video of that one and I will link to it in the description box below. I've created a card with this where I showed you exactly how I color this one in. So I'm just go over to that video if you would like to see it. Salvage Patina and Broken China are the two inks that I'm using in here just for the background to be ink blended. I think these two colors go so well together and they give that real icy feeling, especially in a minute you will see why. So I'm drying it to make sure it's lovely and dry because I want my double-sided uh, sticky sheet to stick to this properly. If I'd left it wet, it might not stick just as well as I want it to. So I'm adding it on top of my ink blended background, removing the backing sheet and now this is a whole sticky surface which you guessed right is going to be dipped into my crystalline glitter. So any glitter that is translucent would work in here because it lets you see all the colors behind it but 
adds that lovely sparkle to it, which I think looks real nice and frosty, just perfect for my snowman to sit against in there, and a little candy cane as well. So I'm just going to glue these on top of the blue cardstock. By the way, the blue cardstock that I'm using for the base is from the little cardstock range, and it's a heavyweight, I think, 270. Uh, GSM uh, so these are real nice and sturdy little 80s especially since I'm using color glue to layer them on top of each other so I'm just making sure I burnish it down very well so the glue sticks to that glitter and again coming back with my snowflake flurry glitter pot and I'm picking out the snowflakes they're two different sizes of snowflakes from what I find so far in there and I think they just work together very well and I thought I used that across all my ATCs today and the glitter so that kind of carries through all the three different styles of my ATC cards my third and final ATC was inspired by a Pinterest post I saw quite a while ago now. I hope I can find it and I will link it to it in the description box below. I didn't have any window dies, so I just cut small panels into my 2.5 by 3.5 inch of a rectangle and it worked just as well. So I'm going to trap some acetate between these two layers and the acetate is the Snowy Acetate by Hunky Dory. The front panel is a pattern paper from Papercraft Society box number 49 by Card Making Magic. It's a lovely snowy background. I'm cutting down a piece of sticky sheet, double-sided sticky sheet to two and a half by three and a half inches and I'm going to add some glitter to my acetate however in here I decided I'm going to do that on the back of the acetate so the back of the window it won't be on the front where I'll be putting my decorations on but stay tuned because I will change that later a little bit so the way I'm doing this I'm gluing or sticking the back panel of my window to this double-sided sticky Piece, and in here I'm adding my acetate on top of that as well so when I turn it around those four little windows are exposed sticky but have that acetate on them now when I add my crystallina to it I love how it looks glittery but I do not like this side of it which would be the front of my window like this I just did not like it it does not have that wow factor uh, so I decided to add another piece of sticky sheet onto this side of the acetate as well. Now I have double-sided red tape in there on the front panel. Obviously I wouldn't need to add this if I knew that I was going to add the sticky sheet on the front as well. It was in there so me as well use it for some double stickiness. <laughs> and I'm just going to dip this into the glitter as well. And I love how this turned out. It's real nice and frosty. Now here on camera it doesn't show now but it's you can still see when you you turn it to the light you can still pick up on all the snowy detail on that acetate I think it's just lovely sentiment I believe is from an old set of from crafters companion it's Christmas time I think it was called and I'm just going to stamp I believe onto the top panel but I turn it right now because there's less snowflakes in there and because I'm going to use white embossing powder to heat emboss this with uh, I think it was just look better or would show up more where there's not too much white detail behind it. Using my opaque bright white embossing powder by WOW, I heat emboss and I'm going to heat set it with my WOW heat tool. And I'm using the higher setting for this one. It's a lovely detailed, I believe. It turns this into a little magical window frame already. So I'm using some of these uh, strips of copy paper which I cut down just with my trimmer. I've done this before on cards, I love doing this. However, I forgot to turn my heat gun on here and with the uh, liquid glue it was just a little bit too fiddly. So I definitely prefer to do this bit with a heat tool or a heat gun. No, a uh, hot glue gun, <laughs> goodness me. So this piece of foliage, which is from the Dazzling Foliage set, uh, is heat embossed with the white embossing powder on acetate and glittered up with skies the limit from behind. The little flowers are from the Grande Floral Butterfly set, which I've used so many times before, heat embossed on vellum and added some ink on the backside. And this is the Broken China, the same one I used on my earlier ATC cards. The icicle die came from the Paper Craft Society box number 49 by Christina Griffith and uh, I glittered it up 
with Glitter Jewels by Cosmic Shimmer and this one is the Iced Snow. I think this one is my favorite to add snowy details like this. I cut away the excess and some of the red tape that I apply this with is exposed in there so it's a bit sticky so I just dipped it back into the crystallina glitter and that stuck to all the sticky bits and I, it is just lovely, nice and smooth. So I'm using my hot glue gun here uh, to add all these little embellishments on top. I was playing with the idea of adding that little bow here and there, but then I decided against. I, I didn't think it did anything for this lovely ATC card, so I just left it. I'm cutting it shorter, trying here and I'm trying there, but honestly, I just I didn't think this card needed it. So I'm bringing out some of these white pearly it's almost like a little holographic shine to these little pearls to add in the middle of each of those flowers in there and again just to finish this off i'm coming back with my snowflakes from the snowflake flurry glitter pot and i'm adding a few here and there and side by side i hear the three atc cars and again just little close-up pictures and close-up videos for you all to see all the lovely sparkle and shine i really hope you like this tutorial as much as i do love these cards i really love glitter and shine as you can tell if you did like this please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the notification bell so you will not miss out on future videos i will be coming back up quite regularly throughout december anyway and i will see you in the next one until then bye